Alexander Kojave, French, Alx D. Kopp, the 28th of April 1902 to the 4th of June 1968, was a Russian-born French philosopher and statesman whose philosophical seminars had an immense influence on 20th-century French philosophy, particularly via his integration of Hegelian concepts into 20th-century continental philosophy. As a statesman in the French government, he was instrumental in the formation of the European Union. Kojave was a close friend of, and was in lifelong philosophical dialogue with, Leo Strauss. Life Kojave was born Alexander Vladimirovich Kozevnikov Russian, Alexander Vladimirovich Kozevnikov IPA, LKSANDR VLD IM RVTK VNK in Russia to a wealthy and influential family. His uncle was the abstract artist Wassily Kandinsky, about whose work he would write an influential essay in 1936. He was educated at the University of Berlin and Heidelberg, Germany. In Heidelberg he completed in 1926 his PhD thesis on the Russian religious philosopher Vladimir Soloviev's views on the union of God and man in Christ under the direction of Karl Jaspers. The title of his thesis was Die religios philosophie Vladimir Solojus, the religious philosophy of Vladimir Soloviev. Early influences included the philosopher Martin Heidegger and the historian of science Alexander Coiré. Kojave spent most of his life in France, and from 1933 to 1939, he delivered in Paris a series of lectures on Georg Hegel's work Phenomenology of Spirit. After World War II, Kojave worked in the French Ministry of Economic Affairs as one of the chief planners of the European Common Market. Kojave was an extraordinarily learned man. A polyglot, he studied and used Sanskrit, Chinese, Tibetan, Latin, and Classical Greek. He was also fluent in French, German, Russian, and English. Kojave died in Brussels in 1968, shortly after giving a talk at the European Economic Community now the European Union on behalf of the French government. In his later years, he had repeatedly expressed the position that what Marx called the European proletariat no longer existed, and the wealthy West sorely needed to help developing countries to overcome widespread poverty through large monetary gifts similar to the Marshall Plan. Philosophy <inaudible> 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 Though not an orthodox Marxist, Kojave was known as an influential and idiosyncratic interpreter of Hegel, reading him through the lens of both Marx and Heidegger. The well-known end of history thesis advanced the idea that ideological history in a limited sense had ended with the French Revolution and the regime of Napoleon and that there was no longer a need for violent struggle to establish the rational supremacy of the regime of rights and equal recognition. Kojave's end of history is different from Francis Fukuyama's later thesis of the same name in that it points as much to a socialist capitalist synthesis as to a triumph of liberal capitalism. Mark Lilla notes that Kojave rejected the prevailing concept among European intellectuals of the 1930s that capitalism and democracy were failed artifacts of the Enlightenment that would be destroyed by either communism or fascism. In contrast, Kojave, while initially somewhat more sympathetic to the Soviet Union than the United States, devoted much of his thought to protecting Western European autonomy, particularly so France, from domination by either the Soviet Union and the United States. He believed that the capitalist United States represented right Hegelianism while the state socialist Soviet Union represented left Hegelianism. Victory by either side, he posited, would result in what Lilla describes as a rationally organized bureaucracy without class distinctions. Some of Kojiv's more important lectures on Hegel have been published in English in the now classic Introduction to the Reading of Hegel, Lectures on the Phenomenology of Spirit, in 1947. His interpretation of Hegel has been one of the most influential of the past century. His lectures were attended by a small but influential group of intellectuals including Raymond Queno, Georges Bataille, Maurice Blanchot, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, André Breton, Jacques Lacan, Raymond Aron, Roger Calois, Michel Laris, Henry Corbin, Jean Hippolyte, and Éric Weil. His interpretation of the master-slave dialectic was an important influence on Jacques Lacan's mirror stage theory. Other French thinkers who have acknowledged his influence on their thought include the post-structuralist philosophers Michel Foucault and Jacques Derrida. Kojève's correspondence with Leo Strauss has been published along with Kojève's critique of Strauss's commentary on Xenophon's Hiero see below on their friendship and debate. 
In the 1950s, Kojave also met the rightist legal theorist Carl Schmitt, whose concept of the political he had implicitly criticized in his analysis of Hegel's text on lordship and bondage. Another close friend was the Jesuit Hegelian philosopher Gaston Fessard. In addition to his lectures on the phenomenology of spirit, Kojave's other publications include a little-noticed book on Immanuel Kant, and articles on the relationship between Hegelian and Marxist thought and Christianity. His 1943 book, Esquisse d'une phénoménologie du droit, published posthumously in 1981, contrasts the aristocratic and bourgeois views of the right. Le concept, le temps et le discours, extrapolates on the Hegelian notion that wisdom only becomes possible in the fullness of time. Kojave's response to Leo Strauss, who disputed this notion, can be found in Kojave's article, The Emperor Julian and His Art of Writing. Kojave also challenged Strauss' interpretation of the classics in the voluminous Esquisse d'une histoire raisonnée de la pensée païenne, which covers the pre Socratic philosophers, Plato and Aristotle, and Neoplatonism. Recently, three more books have been published, a 1932 thesis on the physical and philosophical importance of quantum physics, an extended 1931 essay on atheism, me, and a 1943 work on the notion of authority. Topic. Friendship with Strauss Kojave had a close and lifelong friendship with Leo Strauss which began when they were philosophy students in Berlin. The two shared a deep philosophical respect for each other. Kojave would later write that he never would have known what philosophy is without Strauss. In the 1930s the two began a debate on the relation of philosophy to politics that would come to fruition with Kojave's response to Strauss on tyranny. Kojave, a senior statesman in the French government, argued that philosophers should have an active part in shaping political events. Strauss, on the other hand, believed that philosophy and politics were fundamentally opposed, and that philosophers should not have a substantial role in politics, noting the disastrous results of Plato in Syracuse. Philosophers should influence politics only to the extent that they can ensure that philosophical contemplation remains free from the seduction and coercion of power. In spite of this debate, Strauss and Kojave remained friendly. In fact, Strauss would send his best students to Paris to finish their education under Kojave's personal guidance. Among these were Alan Bloom, who endeavored to make Kojave's works available in English and published the first edition of Kojave's lectures in English, and Stanley Rosen. Topic Kojave and the USSR In 1999, Le Mans published an article reporting that a French intelligence document showed that Kojave had spied for the Soviets for over 30 years. The claims of this document and even its existence are disputed, and it has never been released. Kojave's supporters tend to believe that if it were true, it was probably unsubstantial as spying per se and a result of his megalomaniacal personality, a pretense to be a philosopher at the end of history influencing the course of world events. In any case, Kojave's contribution to international French economic policy was more than substantial. Though Kojave often claimed to be a Stalinist, he largely regarded the Soviet Union with contempt, calling its social policies disastrous and its claims to be a truly classless state ludicrous. Kojave's cynicism towards traditional Marxism as an outmoded philosophy in industrially well developed capitalist nations prompted him to go as far as idiosyncratically referring to capitalist Henry Ford as the one great authentic Marxist of the 20th century. He specifically and repeatedly called it the only existing country in which 19th century capitalism still existed. His Stalinism was ironic to the extent Stalin had no political chance to lead the Weltgeist, yet, he was serious about Stalinism to the extent that he regarded the utopia of the Soviet Union under Stalin, and the willingness to purge unsupportive elements in the population, as evidence of a desire to bring about the end of history, and as a repetition of the reign of terror of the French Revolution. Topic critics In a commentary on Francis Fukuyama's The End of History and the Last Man, Roger Scruton calls Kojave a life-hating Russian at heart, a self-declared Stalinist, and a civil servant who played a leading behind-the-scenes role in establishing both the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade and the European Economic Community and states the opinion that Kojave was a dangerous psychopath. Topic Bibliography Alexander Koshinikov, Die Religios Philosophy Vladimir Solojus. Heidelberg Univ, Dissertation 1926. Alexander Koshinikov, Die Geschichtsphilosophie Vladimir Solojus. Sonderabdruck. Bonn, Friedrich Cohen, 1930. 
Alexander Kojave, Introduction to the Reading of Hegel, Lectures on the Phenomenology of Spirit, edited by Alan Bloom, Ithaca, Cornell University Press, 1980. Alexander Kojave, Interpretation of the General Introduction to Chapter 7 i.e., the Religion Chapter of Hegel's Phenomenology of Spirit, translated by Ian Alexander Moore. In Parisia, A Journal of Critical Philosophy 20 2014, 15-39, online 2. Alexander Kojave, Outline of a Phenomenology of Right, Lanham, Roman and Littlefield Publishers, 2000. Alexander Kojave, The Emperor Julian and His Art of Writing, in Joseph Cropsey, Ancients and Moderns, Essays on the Tradition of Political Philosophy in Honor of Leo Strauss, New York, Basic Books, p. 95-113, 1964. Alexander Kojave, Tyranny and Wisdom, in Leo Strauss, on Tyranny, Revised and Expanded Edition, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, p. 135-176, 2000. Alexander Kojave, Esquisse d'une doctrine de la politique française, the 27th of August 1945, published in La Règle du Jeu 1, 1990. English translation by Eric de Vries, Outline of a Doctrine of French Policy, in Policy Review 2004, p. 3 to 40, online 3. Alexander Kojave, Düsseldorfer Vortrag, Colonialismus in Europäischer Sicht, in Pete Thomason, H. G. Schmidtiana. Betrage zu Leben und Werk Karl Schmitz. Band 6, Berlin 1998, pp. 126-143. English translation and comment, INCL. Schmidt Kojave Correspondence, Eric de Vries, Alexander Kojave, Karl Schmidt Correspondence and Alexander Kojave, Colonialism from a European Perspective. In, Interpretation, 29 over 1, 2001, pp. 91-130. Alexander Kojave, Essai d'une histoire raisonnée de la philosophie païenne. Tome 1-3, Paris, 1968, 1997. Alexander Kojave, Kant, Paris, 1973. Alexander Kojave, Le Concept, Le Temps et le Discours. Paris, 1991. English translation by Robert B. Williamson, The Concept, Time and Discourse. St. Augustine's Press, South Bend, Indiana, 2013. Alexander Kojave, L'Empereur Julien et son art de Paris, 1997. Alexander Kojave, Les Peintures Concrètes de Kandinsky, Paris, 2002. 1936. Alexander Kojave, La Notion d'Authorité. Paris, 2004. English translation by Hager Weslati, The Notion of Authority. Verso, 2014. Alexander Kojave and Offret D. Lede du Determinisme dans la physique classique et dans la physique moderne. Paris, 1990. Alexander Kojave and Bibbard L. Lathéisme, Paris, 1998. Alexander Kojave, Ultra la Phenomenologia. Recensioni, 1932-1937, Italian translation by Giampiero Civillo, I Volti, N. 68, Mimesis, Udine Milano, 2012. ISBN 978-88-5750-877-1. See also Jean Wall Post Kojavian Discourse Topic References Topic Sources Butler, Judith 1987, Subjects of Desire, Hegelian Reflections in Twentieth Century France, New York, Columbia University Press, ISBN 0-231-06450-0 Lilla, Mark 2001, Alexander Kojave, The Reckless Mind. Intellectuals in Politics, New York, New York Review Books, ISBN 0-940322-76-5 Further reading Bibbard, Laurent, La Sagesse et la Féminine, L'Armaton, 2005 Agamben, Giorgio, 2004, The Open, Man and Animal, Stanford, Stanford University Press, ISBN 0-8047-4737-7 Anderson, Perry, 1992, The Ends of History, A Zone of Engagement, New York, Verse so, pp. 279-375, ISBN 0-86091-377-5 Offret, D. 2002, Alexander Kojave. 
La Philosophie, l'état, la fin de l'histoire, Paris, B. Grasset, ISBN 2-246-39871-1 Cooper, Barry The End of History, An Essay on Modern Hegelianism, Toronto, University of Toronto Press, ISBN 0-8020-5625-3 Darby, Tom The Feast, Meditations on Politics and Time, Toronto, Toronto University Press, ISBN 0-8020-5625-3 0-5578-8 Devlin, F. Roger 2004, Alexander Kojave and the Outcome of Modern Thought, Lanham, University Press of America, ISBN 0-7618-2959-8 Drury, Shadia B. Alexander Kojave, The Roots of Postmodern Politics, New York, St. Martin's Press, ISBN 0-312-12089-3 Filoni, Marco 2008, Il Filosofo della Domenica, La Vita e Il Pensiera di Alexander Kojave, Turin, Balati Boringieri, ISBN 978-88-339-1855-6 Filoni, Marco 2013, Kojave Monami, Turin, Nino Aragno Fukuyama, Francis 1992, The End of History and the Last Man, New York, Macmillan, ISBN 0-02-910975-2 Gerolanos, Stefanos 2010, An Atheism That Is Not Humanist Emerges in French Thought, Stanford, Stanford University Press, ISBN 0-8047-6299-6 Kleinberg, Ethan 2005, Generation Existential, Heidegger's Philosophy in France, 1927-1961, Ithaca, Cornell University Press, ISBN 0-8014-4391-1 Kovacevic, Philip 2014, Kozov u Cyclus Predavanya o Alexandru Kozovu, Podgorica, Montenegro, Centaur za Gradansko Obrazovanje, ISBN 978-86-85591-29-7 Nichols, James H. 2007, Alexander Kojave, Wisdom at the End of History, Lanham M. A., Roman and Littlefield, ISBN 978-0742527775 Neithammer, Lutz Posthistoire, Has History Come to an End? New York, Verso, ISBN 0-86091-3 95 3 Rosen, Stanley 1987, Hermeneutics as Politics, Hermeneutics as Politics, New York, Oxford University Press, pp. 87-140, ISBN 0-19504908-X Rosen, Stanley 1999, Kojave, A Companion to Continental Philosophy, London, Wiley Blackwell, ISBN 978-0-631-21850-0 Rossman, Vadim the 18th of January 2006, Alexander Kojave i Jago Trzy Wieloryby NR94, Poland, Europa, pp. 7-12 Roth, Michael South 1988, Knowing and History, Appropriations of Hegel in Twentieth-Century France, Ithaca, Cornell, ISBN 0-8014-2136-5 Singh, Akash 2005, Eros Tyrannos, Leo Strauss and Alexander Kojave Debate on Tyranny, Lanham, University Press of America, ISBN 0-7618-3259-9 Strauss, Leo 2000, On Tyranny Rev, and Expanded Ed, Chicago, University University of Chicago Press, ISBN 0-226-77687-5 Chivolo, Giampiero, Menon, Marco eds. 2015, Tyrannide e Filosofia, con un saggio di Leo Strauss ed un inedito di Gaston Fessard S.J., Venezia, Edizioni C.A. Foscari, pp. 335-416, ISBN 978-88-6969-032-7 External links Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy The Discursivity of the Negative, Kojave on Language in Hegel by Daniel J. Seltzer. Biography of Alexander Kojave by Brian Paul Frost.